George Corley Wallace, J.R., August 25, 1919 September 13, 1998, was an American politician and the 45th governor of Alabama, having served two non-consecutive terms and two consecutive terms as a Democrat, 1963-1967, 1971-1979 and 1983-1987. Wallace has the third longest gubernatorial tenure in post-constitutional U.S. history, at 16 years and 4 days. A 1972 assassination attempt left Wallace paralyzed, and he used a wheelchair for the remainder of his life. He is remembered for his southern populist and segregationist attitudes during the mid-20th century period of the African-American civil rights movement and activism, which gained passage of federal civil rights legislation in the mid-1960s to enforce constitutional rights for all citizens. He eventually renounced segregationism but remained a populist. Wallace the first of four children, was born in Cleo and Barber County in southeastern Alabama, to George Corley Wallace, Sr., and his wife, Ms. L. Smith. Wallace married Lillian Brigham Burns on May 22, 1943. The couple had four children together, Bobby Joe, 1944, Parsons, Peggy Sue, 1950, Kennedy, George III, known as George Jr., 1951, and Janie Lee, 1961, Die who was named after Robert E. Lee. Lurleen Wallace was the first, and, as of 2015, only, woman to be elected governor of Alabama. On January 4, 1971, Wallace wed the former Cornelia Ellis Snively, 1939-2009, a niece of former Alabama Governor Jim Folsom, known as Big Jim. On September 9, 1981, Wallace married Lisa Taylor, a country music singer. They divorced in 1987. During his final years, Wallace publicly recanted his racist views and asked for forgiveness from African Americans. At a restaurant a few blocks from the state capitol, Wallace became something of a fixture. In constant pain, he was surrounded by an entourage of old friends and visiting well-wishers and continued this ritual until a few weeks before his death. Wallace died of septic shock from a bacterial infection in Jackson Hospital in Montgomery on September 13, 1998. He suffered from respiratory problems in addition to complications from his gunshot spinal injury.